I am the deadpan dead man, obtaining a Pomander of Serenity, but it's kind of useless to use that since there are no enchantments. However, go ahead and use the Affluence so I can get more chests on the next level. And once again, we're going in Dark Knight because why? Not thrilled about, but at least we're not getting turned into a toad. Yeah. Stop that. Much has happened since the last Palace of the Dead Man anime fest happened locally, and my armor upgraded plus landmine and we're just gonna nip those problems in the butt right there by hot barring high potion but anime fest was last week and though I did not spend much time at it had a fair amount of fun with the time I was there For those who didn't pick up on it, Anime Fest is in a local anime convention. Things happen. Fortunes are made. Maybe. And it's not out of the question that fortunes are made. But, unless you have very special circumstances, it's probably not in the question either. I've been playing a fair amount of fortune been mostly just powering through the latest expansion Stormblood story in the attempt to get max level and right now I'm trying to get this character to get the Goddess of War achievement. Yeah, they're called achievements, why not? Which requires getting all of the Disciples of War classes to the max level. And even though war never changes, it is nice to have everything at max level now. Just to have some good stuff. Probably consider doing the Disciples of Magic after the Disciples of War are done. Under one. But, first things first. We gotta teach my combat wifely the finer points of combat. Other than that, uh, just last night downloaded the Monster Hunter Stories uh, demo, which, for those of you not familiar, it's a more traditional RPG than your average Monster Hunter fare. So that might uh, negate the barrier to entry that a lot of people have with Monster Hunter. It might dissuade people from playing it, but it is a very solid turn-based RPG. I will say that much. I will say that the camera is a little wonky, but for most people that's kind of par for the course with the Monster Hunter game. Personally, I prefer a button to just snap the character back behind your character, or snap the camera back behind your character. I've been up all night at work and and am therefore completely flubbing simple pronunciation. Go me. I make a very good host, especially when tired. So I haven't really put much thought into joining a host club, and seeing as there probably aren't many host clubs around. It'd be rather difficult, but it would be a lark to try out. Just say, yeah, I was a man How about you? Be all charming, playing up to people. I don't know where I'm going with that. Just be kind of fun to be a host for a second. Not longer though. I've 
probably don't have the personality to make it a full-time job. Although I'm sure being a host is much like any other service industry job where you're all sweetness and light when they're in your face and then the second they leave, it's time to talk some trash. Because really, who in the service industry doesn't? If you have thoughts on that, please leave them in the comments. I would like to think that I encourage discussion and discourse. You know, I'm generally walking around with a scowl, which people don't take too kindly to. Makes me a little sad. I am nice man with happy feelings all of the time. No, that's a load of horse, and I'm a toad again. The curse of the dead. The palace of the dead being a toad. And getting hopping mad because I now have a character that lacks the opposable digits to operate a chest copper. Yay! Armor up. So, I do intend to pick up uh, Monster Hunter Stories when it does come out. Assuming it hasn't already, I meant to check on that and see what the release date was. Uh, I'm also looking forward to to Gundam vs. Gundam when that comes out later this month. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, having played only a few Gundam vs. Gundam, well, Gundam vs. games previously, and admittedly just not being very good at it, I do like Gundams, even though I am kind of uh, after colony trash. I. Like quite a few American Gundam fans got started with Wing Gundam, which follows the After Colony timeline as opposed to the Universal Century timeline that the mainline series tend to follow. I'm not sure which timeline G Gundam follows, but I do believe it is outside of the Universal Century, so it is looked upon with scorn by many hardcore Gundam fans. But you just gotta say, what the heck. That's a mobile suit. Agree? Disagree? Have gas? <clears throat> there are plenty of other games coming out, I just don't offhand know the release dates for them. Like, uh, the PlayStation 3, I would call it a classic. Um, but it is Dragon's Dogma. It's another action RPG that does kind of feel similar to Monster Hunter, but it has a lot more of the classic trappings of role-playing games, such as spells, classes, etc. And it is really fun to play. Plus, you can climb on monsters and disable them that way. But you can't ride them. Well, you can ride them, they're just trying to get you to stop. by breathing fire and turning your party members to stone. Death appearing. But that was me. So, this is in a Persona game where, you know, death will just appear and eat your entire party because you've been in a dungeon too long. How dare you be getting stronger? You will be smitten for your hubris. The game set. Kind of terrible. And I'm still kind of scrubbable in this Palace of the Dead, so I don't have many toys to play with, unfortunately. What I unfortunately lack is the Dark Knight Fun Button, what I've referred to as Dark Arts, or how I refer to Dark Arts, I should say. For those unfamiliar, Dark Arts is an ability that you use it, and yes, it 
eats your MP alive, but I'm a toad again. You know, this doesn't happen half as often when I'm not streaming. I think it knows. The game knows that I'm trying to entertain people, so it believes that I am more entertaining as a frog. Or, my character is more entertaining as a frog. Ooh, that's bad. Poop maneuvers, so Selenia does not mean an untimely end in the Palace of the Dead, which for these characters dying is just kind of an inconvenience. Oh, I've met my immortal end, shuffled off this mortal coil. Time to take a nap and reawaken in a city with a hole in my shirt. Curses. Which, speaking of shirts, I'm quite proud of the glamour that I have for the Fashion and Fantasy 14 aspect of this. This is my Dark Knight one, which, as you notice, it is dark. In goggles. Because that's how you show you're awesome, but we're in goggles. Anyway, camera's a bit different. I can't see what's going on. I still really miss the, miss the damage over time that Dark Knight used to have. Didn't make a whole lot of sense how whacking them with your sword twice in quick succession caused them to uh, take damage over time, but I don't care. It was useful. As I believe I elucidated in my past, Palace of the Dead Man. Not exactly sure how long I'm going to run the Palace of the Dead Man for Pants Plays, but it is interesting and it is something I don't have to rely on anyone else for. Plus it is a bit of a challenge carrying a tiny dot spawn. Carrying an achievement, so it must be kind of difficult. Trap that isn't being turned into a toad. Awesome. Super happy about that. Well, toading isn't the worst thing that can happen to toading. It does kind of eat into time, like posing for the camera. Which I did do, but that was for the audience. You're welcome. It's all for you guys. This of course may be putting the cart ahead of the horse and assuming that I have viewership. But those who do view, you're appreciated. Now as to what you're getting for the price of entry, I don't know. I make jokes. I play video games. I might resurrect Abe Lincoln just so I can get into a fist fight with him. Disclaimer, that will not happen. Ever. So... While I'm killing one, a joke. The guy walks into a doctor's office. He tells the doctor, Doc, I got this terrible tapeworm. So the doc says, Okay, I can help you. Tomorrow, bring two apples and a cookie. The guy's a little puzzled, but doctor's orders. So, 
It brings in two apples and a cookie. Doctor tells him to drop his pants. A little perplexed still, he does. Doctor then proceeds to shove two apples and a cookie up the guy's butt. This goes on for a week. The guy is going out of his mind and very sore. So he says, Doc, are you just having fun at my expense? Doc says, no, 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 no. Tomorrow, bring two apples and a hammer. The guy's a little weirded out again, but he does so, doctor's orders. So, as usual, doctor shoves the two apples in his butt. Then he stands there with a the hammer. Wait for it. Wait for it. The tapeworm appears. Where the hell is my cookie? Wham! Squish tapeworm. Problem solved. Yes. If there is anyone else out there who's familiar with Clone Zone the Lizigator, please let me know. I, I would like to know others who have read first comics. I do believe they went out of business in the 80s, but while they were around, they had uh, interesting characters like Grimjack, and who was a space pilot of some sort. I'm a Toad again. A leveled up Toad. A stronger Toad. He really can't do anything besides hop. But they also had Nexus, a fusion-powered superhero who was given dreams to kill mass murderers by an alien entity. It was pretty cool. And especially since I read them when I was maybe 15? Where'd it go? Your time has come. My dark sword of vengeance hungers for your blood. I am unsatisfied. Other things must be sacrificed. Like treasure. Treasure must be sacrificed. As far as other obscure comic gems, I really can't think of anything think of many. Growing up, I of course uh, mostly read Marvel comics because, well, honestly, the characters struck me as more interesting. They had the X-Men, and when I was younger, that was all about the X-Men, and getting blown up. Yikes. I had a couple of, uh, DC books, but they were all bad, because to me, if it wasn't Batman and it was DC, I really didn't care. Oh, duh, I forgot to mention, uh, speaking of Batman and DC, I picked up Injustice 2 recently. Thus far, I've been playing Supergirl because of the uh, Power Girl premiere skin that I got with the game. I am marginally disappointed that uh, there aren't any alternate costumes for Power Girl, just the palette swap. But at least they included her in the game, which is neat. And speaking of the gear system, the closest thing to alternate costumes you're going to get, and they add all sorts of buffs and extra abilities to your character. I wanted to flip Sundry into that description, but I really don't think it worked. And if I did, it would be forced. I would cry in shame. With my Commander of Strength. I would break that to try harder. Probably make her cry hard enough to reach Princess Peach levels of watering plants with her tears. That would be super interesting. Right now, though, I'd just like to level up enough to get Darkseid. No. 
should probably use that so I can get another one and deal with that snake I saw in my periphery. Come get some. No, you don't. But this Saturday, uh, DJ Salt and Shaker and I will be playing. Injustice 2 for your very much wish fulfillment as a part of 236 Fight, which was originally supposed to be uh, 63, the uh, number pad notation for a show you can, but I screwed up. So it is 236, the number pad notation for a fireball. Which is generally easier to put up, pull off, and was one of the first special moves I learned to do. It took me many more years to master the show you can input. I think it was around. I don't remember, but it wasn't Super Street Fighter 2, which is the first Street Fighter I played a lot of. Because I was a Genesis kid growing up, and Genesis did not get half as many versions of uh, Street Fighter 2 as the SNES did. But I had Vectorman, so it's okay. I also had Sonic, which I mostly remember the good times. I mean, yes, the relationship did get abusive around the 3D era, but despite its flaws, Sonic Generations came out, and it was a good time. Which also reminds me that I do need to pick up Sonic Mania, as I've heard from a third-party source, that it is supposed to be really good as well, and a return to the classic era of... Yay. I have unleashed the darkness inside. Now all will quake before my powerful power that I use to overpower powerful foes. That kind of hurt my throat. I don't think I'm going to be doing that for much more of this broadcast. But yes, I grew up Sega. I had my Genesis until I got a Dreamcast, which Capcom showed that, sis that system ate on a toad again. No longer a toad. Time to murder your face. But let's see, it got Third Strike, Techromancer, Power Stone. That is a game I would kill to see brought back. I heard rumors that Microsoft was trying to do something with it, but that obviously never materialized. Otherwise, I would have to break down and purchase a Microsoft system, which I'm normally not too keen on. With the current iteration, can't really say I'm super hyped for the Xbox One X, namely because it looks like a moron gamer tag from Xbox Live. Because seriously, if you get headshotted and then teabagged by Box One X, Box One X, I would be annoyed. I don't know about you. That and the things that I really do want to play on Microsoft Box, I can play on PC just as easily. Those being State of Decay 2 and Killer Instinct. I know, Killer Instinct is kind of late in its life cycle to be uh, jumping in for the first time, but 
as soon as I can, I would like to, because, I don't know. Characters strike me as fun, the fact that you can just ad nauseum link buttons. That and I never really got to play previous versions of Killer Instinct, except sparingly at the arcade, maybe once or twice at a store display. So I guess it's trying to recapture lost youth, or something stupid like that. And State of Decay was a lot of fun. Grand Theft Auto Zombies. I'm kind of curious what new they'll add to State of Decay 2. There is ample gloom on this floor. The Dark Knight class should be stronger. The gloom speaks to you. Your battle hard on has increased. The wood remembers. Oh boy, does it. Wood? Are you sure that's not an elephant? You're carrying around or worshipping an elephant? It wouldn't surprise me. Elephants are noble creatures. Don't make fun of them. And a ball shows up. Hooray. Really? I don't want to be a frog now. I am tired of having my character turned into a frog. Stop being a frog. There we go, let's do this. Nice to find some chests that actually upgrade my weapon instead of just my armor. Because better armor is super neat. But come on, Dark Knight. Needs better ways of murdering things so they can satiate the generic rage that burns within their soul. Like, see that red body odor? Yeah, that's generic rage that she burns with. remember being dead? Oh yeah, I'm on point. turned into a toad. Your time of death is at hand. 
It's also too bad that the stun move doesn't do any damage now. Makes me very sad. to discuss. Or I'll just proclaim to be a little proclaimed and have you talk amongst yourselves. Your topic is the strength of the Euro. And if you actually know which comedian I am uh, stealing from, please feel free to say so in the comments. Oh hey, finally, the Accursed Horde. Only took me, what, six floors to finally find one? But there's neat stuff. For free. Of course, it has kind of torpedoed the market. It's glamour bait, but... What are you going to do? Give me stuff. Proper tank strategies now go out the window as it is just kill it. Kill it with dark fire. Your fate is sealed, Palace Cobra. Closer to the end. The end of all things. Wasn't quite the same voice, but. I felt it appropriate with the Dark Knight action going on right now. Something I found in that antiquity back when I was still playing Final Fantasy XI was a thought of the day that wondered aloud if more ball vines make good cigarettes or would they just give you bad breath. It, it was kind of a gauche little uh, joke, but uh, what are you going to do?
Ooh, shit. Like to join as well. Seriously, level up already. Really need to level up. Lighting a treasure coffer. affected by your slow. He's too angry to be slow. Well, apologies if I'm yawning, but I've been up all night. will severely consider going to sleep after I finish this floor and boss. Whoop, there it is. Or whoop? I don't know, who cares. Wampa, there it is.
Hmm. Hooray for damage. Not hooray for more balls. Pride goeth before a toting. Bad breath head on. Which now would be a good time to come to hear about how and if Blue Mage will be added to Final Fantasy XIV. I've personally always loved the class, Blue Mage, almost as much as Samurai. I don't expect Blue Mage to be a tank, so I'd be far less disappointed than I was when they announced that Samurai was another epic SPS. Although, if you think about it, being a blue mage is kind of disgusting. Because, you know, out of nowhere, you just throw a tail to flat things with, or... Although, being able to grow claws with... So you can do frenetic rip. Which I have seen monsters using in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, so it's not out of the question. Of course, they're also using abilities that they don't give to the player, like uh, Barbaric Surge, which basically they just channel for a second and go, oh, I'm stronger, it's like boots. But since you're a player and therefore a loser, you don't get it. Haha. Uh -huh. And a lot of Beastmen will use the appropriate end spell, which for those unfamiliar with that, basically wraps your weapon in the magic of that element. Of course, since the elemental wheel has gone completely out the window in this game, where I suppose in 11 you lived or died by knowing it, and working it. Because, you know, if I cast fire on Ifrit, in 11, and most other Final Fantasy games, I was a moron. However, in 14, if you cast Astral Fire on Ifrit, that's going to be your big damage dealer. Not much to be done about it. Although it doesn't make sense that fire is your big uh, boom, but thunder is your damage over time? How and why? I don't get it and I don't think I want to. Curses. But of course, with everything, game logics are not real logics. Still a little baffling that they were so married to the elemental wheel in 11, but they just kind of tossed it out the window for 14. I guess it makes things easier and far more accessible. I also miss Rinke. Those were awesome. 
do a weapon skill, your buddy does a weapon skill, or if you're a samurai, you do a weapon skill with yourself, and watch purdy lights go off. Because really, like most people who play video games, well, I can't say most people who play video games, but I live for pretty lights. And after that little preamble, we're going to force feed this Spurge, stupidly named boss, some pretty lights. Let's rock and play. That is another 10 floors of Palace of the Dead Man. Thank you for watching. I'm glad I actually made it. Because it would have kind of sucked to be streaming and die. Like a tit. Although I did forget to use strength and steel to make that fight easier. Like a tit. It all worked out in the end, so. All's well that ends well. I am the deadpan deadpan, deadpan dead man, who can't even say his nickname correctly. Thank you for watching, and have a good day, night, whatever.